what's up guys um today we're today i'm gonna show you guys how to make a line of sight so here's the thing uh when i was trying to make a game a few months ago i guess i really wanted to know how to make line of sight so i searched on youtube so much and found really none of the video explained it so i kind of like gave up and what happened was i was messing up with scratch just trying to code something and just randomly found out how to make line of sight so let's let let me show you the example so here's the line of sight yeah it's strangely good it is very good at doing the line of sight and it is on scratch so well then let's get right into it so first what you obviously need is a simple code when green flag click movement which is our simple code so a press turn uh counterclockwise five degrees depressed turn clockwise five degrees move speed steps when w keys pressed and collision which i'll show you a little bit later and line of sight which is our main code and of course i have added pen so erase all and then what you're gonna do is get the collision which is the most simplest one if touching level two variables old x and old y for the sprite only, go to old x and old y. If not touching level, set old x and old y to x position and y position. Our line of sight is right here. So we're gonna switch costume to hitbox, which is literally just a dot. Uh, you have to do that, or you're not gonna get a good result. So switch pen color to whatever line of sight color you want, pen size to whatever size you want, pen down. Uh, turn FOV degrees, which is field of view. I did mine 30, which is like this much. You guys can obviously do more. It's your choice. No, I mean, my field of view is 60 degrees because. So turn 30 degrees. Uh, yeah, you guys can try this out. 30. Repeat twice as this much, which is 60, because 30 times 2 is 60. And do create clone of myself. Turn 1 degrees clockwise so this has to be counterclockwise and this will also be counterclockwise because 30 plus 30 is 60 and 1 times 60 is obviously 60 so yeah that's that's how to stay in a spot and we're gonna switch our costume back to our main ball costume which I will now call it a player and then uh, we now need uh, when I start as a clone do ray trace so what basically ray traces is repeat until touching level move two steps delete this clone which is a very simple code so collision run screen uh, screen refresh line of sight run without screen refresh movement uh, run without screen refresh and finally ray trace run without screen refresh and yeah that's that's it so line of sight here it is on scratch and let me show you what happens if we don't use the hitbox which is literally just a dot I, if you see uh there's a space between these uh two things and it is so much laggier so let's just put our hitbox back in which makes it so much less laggier. And then here's another problem. So if I wanted to bring my player, try to go through a small gap, uh, I'll be go I'll be able to go through here because because uh, I have my hitbox, which is actually uh, smaller than this costume. Let's say if I take the hitbox out which helps us a lot by not lagging the game okay let me just switch costume to player so it's not just causing that gap 
it is also causing us to not able to go through small gaps. So it is definitely a lot better uh, doing a hitbox. So yeah, what you could do is just use this code. I will put this up on my on my studio so check it out you guys can use it and there's gonna be a link in the description below to my studio and remember to uh, you know follow me on the studio and everything oh yeah and level has nothing it just has to be in the zero zero position or whatever position you want so what we could do is to just I guess make an enemy and here's our enemy a purple circle I guess okay so we have this purple cir purple cir circle which is gonna be our enemy so let's put it here and player and line of sight so So what we could really do is just uh -huh, repeat until touching level, we could do or touching enemy. And then what we could do is if touching enemy and broadcast enemy detected and then what we could do is just make the enemy run to you I guess so we could just make the enemy just walk around randomly give him a line of sight and there you go uh, there's how to use your line of sight and try to make a good game out of it. Uh, when you make a game out of this uh, line of sight method, please share it in my studio. I want to check it out. And thank you for watching, guys. I'll be back with another good video. And remember to hit subscribe and like buttons. And peace.